Hello, everybody. This is my first video ever. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to talk about announcing how you're a coach on social media. So let me share my screen real quick. Um, so this is my presentation, my little presentation I made. So I know a couple of you have like not came on, came out on social media that you're a coach yet. This is a big step. You need to come out as a coach. It will definitely help your business grow. Um, you know, people, they don't know you're a coach. They might just think you're in a journey, um, just starting your fitness journey. So you want to put it out there that you are a new coach. So let's make this a little bigger. I don't even know where my little screen is. There it is. Okay. All right. So number one, announcing that you're a Beachbody coach. Where? You want to post this everywhere. It does not matter if you're going to use Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube to get, to get people for your business. You need to post it everywhere. I post it on Facebook and Instagram just because those are the social media platforms I use. Let your friends, family, and social media know. So the easiest thing to do is let your friends and family know because those are going to be the easiest people to sign up unless, you know, your family's not into fitness, blah, blah, blah. But you can change that. So those are basically your targets for who you want to let know that you're a Beachbody coach. You don't even have to put it out there that you're a Beachbody coach. Just let people know that you're some sort of coach that or a mentor that wants to help them, you know, start their journey. So how are you going to do this? You're going to post about your new journey. It can be scary. You know, you took, you took this on this whole, like me reaching out to you to be a coach. I saw some potential in you. So that's why I reached out to you. And I know you can make a little post on Facebook. It's not gonna be that hard. Um, so like an example to start off, you know, would be like announcing that you have a challenge group starting in a couple slides, in a couple slides, there's like a example of a post you can actually do, but you can at least put out there, like announce that you have a challenge group starting on, I don't know, June 3rd. You know, you want to get your, you want to get ready for summer. You want to help people get ready for summer. You're looking for people to join you on the new journey of yours. In our group, just let them know that in your challenge groups, you give daily tips, motivation, support, recipes, you know, advice, anything like that to help hold them accountable to reach their health and fitness goals. That's like one thing people lack and one thing that people need in a fitness journey is that accountability. So if they don't have it, you know, or you don't say you're going to give them the accountability, then they're not going to want to join you because that's the one thing people want. You know, that's, that's why a lot of people don't succeed in the fitness industry um, on their journeys, they just quit because they don't have that support and motivation. So let them know that, um, you know, you're going to give them that support. Um, go ahead and put at the bottom, like, message me if you are interested in hearing more about starting your journey. Don't give them too much information. Don't, don't just put a link out there saying, you know, here's my link, order through me. Ha <laughs> ha. Say message me. That way they can message you, you can get to know them, all that good stuff. Um, so some tips on like making a post are going to be giving priority to the number of spots you have. So I always put like, I'm taking on 10 girls or 10 girls and guys, um, for my new challenge group starting June 2nd, blah, 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 blah. Or just say you're taking on five people that you have five spots open. That's going to create that urgency because they're going to be like, Oh, okay. That's, you know, I don't want to miss out. I want to get in on it. So I want to be like the first person. That's actually called FOMO, so fear of missing out. You need to tell people, make it a priority that you have this many spots open. Um, be specific and talk your group up with confidence, you know. It's called fake it till you make it. <laughs> have you ever heard of that? So even if you're not confident because you ha you've just started becoming a coach, like you just started being a coach, fake it. You know, act confident so that people can look up to you, and that way they're like, okay, well, she seems pretty confident, so I guess we'll try it out, you know? So you don't have to put your direct link in, you know? You don't have to do any of that stuff. Just let them know that you're literally literally there to help them. That's it. 
you know, don't tell all of your story right away. Don't talk about Shakeology. The number one beach body rule is to not talk about beach body. Number one fight in rule in fight club is to not talk about fight club. So if you're going to put your direct link on something saying, you know, buy this Shakeology here, you know, sign up on my team here. It's $160. That's not building a relationship. You want the people to reach out to you and message you so you can build that relationship with them, you know, dig more, dig deeper into their fitness goals and learn about them. Um, let's see. Don't let's see. Okay. Oh yeah. So do not tell all of your story. Don't share everything in one post. You know, people maybe just share that you've gained confidence from this or you just love the accountability. You know, you struggled with having that support. So you love having the support. People are going to be hungry for more. That's why that's when they're going to come to you and ask you more about, you know, what you're doing, all that stuff, how you're changing, how you're gaining the confidence, how you're seeing the scale go down, how you're developing better eating habits. Um, it's really just getting them to be more hungry for the information. Um, let's see. Give a deadline. So let them know like when your challenge group starts and when you're closing enrollment. So I usually give it about a week unless it fill, you know, unless it fills up. It's okay if you're taking more signups than five people. You just want to, they don't have to know that. You can just tell them I have five spots open to create that, you know, urgency. So people keep, so people just start rolling in. Um, they want to get in on it because this is going to last a year. So they really get a year's access to your boot camps, which is just fucking badass, man. Um, it doesn't matter if you're letting anyone in, you know, if you're letting a hundred people in, that'd be freaking awesome, but you don't have to tell them, make it a priority and create that urgency for them to, you know, ask about filling a spot. So here is an example coming out post. Um, the, this is right here is my coach. The, this is Delilah on our team and this is Lexi on our team. So these are, these are their results from pretty sure 80 day obsession. They did 80 day obsession. This is my transformation from 80 day obsession. And actually that's Carrie's too from 80 day obsession. So this is all from 80 day obsession. Um, so this could be, you know, an example post for Facebook. I want you guys to create your own, you know, make it relatable to you, your personality. Don't copy this. I mean, you can kind of use it, but you want it to sound like you. You want to just put it out there. So let's read this together and see. These are just really the main points you want to put out there. So disclaimer, this is a fitness related post. So if those annoy you, you should probably unfriend me. You know, if people, I have family that get so annoyed with me when I post about fitness or beach body or I reach out to them. So that's why there's an unfriend button, you know, just tell them to move forward, tell them to scroll past it, tell them to unfollow you or unfriend you, you know, on Instagram, if they're giving you hate about your fitness stuff, tell them to unfollow you. That's why Instagram made an unfollow button. It's for the haters. <laughs> um, this is for my friends who've been dying to lose weight and tone up or simply just get healthier but haven't had the mo motivation to do so yet. Wouldn't it be awesome to have support and someone to cheer and motivate you? Motivate you and cheer you on. <laughs> and get your booty off the couch for the summer. Like, don't you want to be active for the summer? Don't you want to do something all summer to see, you know, you improve your health? Someone who wants nothing more than to help you get the results you're looking for. If so, I want to help you. I want to motivate you to get the best fitness results you've been dying to have. Yes, you will have to work for it. Put that out there, you know, that they're going to have to work for it because a lot of people don't want to put in the work. They just want to half-ass it and get the results from a fucking pill or, you know, whatever. So put it out there that they're going to have to work for it, but you're going to be there along the way to help them. Uh, below are my previous results with 80 Day Obsession. To the side are the results of two other challengers using various Beachbody programs or 80 Day Obsession, whatever. Below, that is a before and after of my coach, Carrie Schmidt. And again, below is my two-week progress photo from my own journey, which there should have been two pictures or whatever. Um, in two weeks, I start Body Beast. Or I'm just making, I'm really, I really just made this up because I want to put something out there. I've done Body Beast before, but just say you're going to like start another program. Um, not everybody has to do the same program in your challenge group. They can pick their own, which we'll get to later. But 
not everyone's going to want to do, you know, AD the Obsession or Pio or Pilates. In two weeks, I start Body Beast to add on some lean muscle and hopefully have the guts to compete in a finish, fitness show next year. I want to compete in Summit next year. I was going to this year, but I just had a lot of shit go on and I moved from Kansas to Florida and Florida back to Kansas and it was just a shit show. So, um, you know, I want, that's my main goal. Put, put your goal out there. Like, what's your goal? What do you want to accomplish with the new program you're going to do? Do you want to build your butt? You want to be like the peach emoji on the iPhone? Like put out there what, you know, do you want to look, do you want to look good in a bikini? Do you want to, whatever, just put it out there. If you're not putting it out there, people aren't going to know and they won't, they might relate to you. Maybe they want that same goal. Okay. I wouldn't be posting this if I didn't feel stronger mentally, physically, and emotionally since starting this, which I should say since starting this. Since starting this. And I fricked this up too. Huh. Oops. Guys, I'm struggling today. Sorry. This is my first video ever, and I am just trying to be good. Look, it's not working. Jeez, okay. Um, I'm hoping to kick off a 90 day group with a few people who are determined to get results. I'm so pumped with my results and I want to work together. I want to, and I want to work together to feel the same and commit and, and succeed. Um, if you want to do this, send me a message and I'll let you in on some more details. This is about you and your goals. No one else's cheers to health or whatever you want to put, make the post sound like you like what would you uh, honestly i typed this up i kind of got it from like the internet but what what i would say is basically just like who wants results you know who wants to take 21 days at the least to lose 5 to 15 pounds who wants to get off the couch for summer do something with your life you know develop a healthy relationship with food and become the best version of you. I'm all about self-confidence and becoming the best version of yourself. You know, loving your body, always developing, always progressing forward. So you want to put a post out there that is just going to motivate people to message you. Um, so yeah, this is kind of just an example. And this next one, this picture right here is supposed to be a picture of an onion because you'll know later, but... I'm going to delete that, actually. Okay. So someone messages you saying they want more details. Now what? First, take a deep breath because you're not going to know what the hell to do. Um, this is why I made this video is because you're a new coach. You know, someone comes to you for help. You're like, whoa, stop. Okay. <laughs> I just started. I don't know. Like, hold on a second. So just take a deep breath. Breathe. Don't get overwhelmed. Message me. Um, send me a screenshot of their message and just message me and I'll let, I'll help you, but do not word vomit. Number one rule, do not word vomit and give them a lot of info at once. Um, when I started my coaching journey, people would message me and I'd just be like, so for $160 to $200, you get Shakeology, the superfood shake that you drink every day, a year's access to workouts, home and gym, 700 workouts, blah, 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 portion containers all this bullshit. And they're like, Whoa, that's, you know, that they just like threw a price at me and now I have to pay. They don't even know who the fuck I am. So don't word vomit. Okay. Follow these steps that I'm going to give you because this is going to be the best way to succeed at getting them to join you. Okay. All right. So you, you want to ask them questions. Okay. This is what you want to do. You want to ask them questions and get to know them and their goals. You want to peel the onion. This is why I was going to put onion there. <laughs> you want to peel the onion and peel the layers of the person down to the core so that you build that relationship with them. Um, you know, this is more, this is about the money. Yeah. You want to make extra money, but it's more than that. It's more than the money. It's building relationships with strangers. You know, I have, I don't know, like 70 people on my team that are just complete strangers. I have not met before they join me in bettering themselves and I didn't even know them. Okay. So you're going to ask them questions. 
Here's a couple. I need to stand up. I've been sitting all day. Um, okay. What have they done in the past that has and hasn't worked for them? You need to ask them that. What if they have done Atkins, what it, which is basically just like keto? Um, what if they have done Weight Watchers, blah, 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 all those diets out there and it didn't work for them? Why? Because they probably didn't have workouts with them and they just didn't know what to do. But ask them what they have done and what they haven't done. Or what they have done and hasn't worked for them, I guess. Um, what are their health and fitness goals? This is going to be a main one just because you want to be able, excuse me, <laughs> you want to be able to figure out, do they want to put on some muscle? Do they want to lean out a little bit? Do they want to just feel good? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so that you can pick the best program for them. Why are they interested in joining you? Like why, why did they see this opportunity and message you for more details? Why did they become interested in this opportunity? Um, what does their nutrition look like? How many meals do they eat daily? What type of food? Fast food, you know, snacking a lot, binge eating. What kind of bad habits do they have and want to fix, like binge eating? Or, you know, just cutting out, cutting out soda and replacing it with Shakeology, something like that. Um, I was going to say something that I totally forgot. Oh, because we have a new program that is called To Be Mindset. Um, I'll go over the programs in another video, but To Be Mindset is all about nutrition and developing a healthy relationship with food and not restricting yourself, but still being able to see progress without working out. So if they just want to fix their nutrition, maybe they just want, you know, like the nutrition program and no workouts. So that's why you need to know these things. Um, you know, ask them if they have any injuries that will prevent them from working out. Maybe they can just do arms and they can't do legs for like six weeks. What type of exercise do they prefer? Cardio, weight training, yoga, dance, Pilates, or a variety of all of them. Cause you know, they get the whole library workout. So that's going to be hard to narrow down what they want. But if you ask them what they prefer, you can kind of weed some of the programs out. My dog is being stupid. Um, how much time do they have to spend on their workouts? Maybe they're a stay at home mom. Maybe they have eight kids and they can just work out for 15 minutes, but they want to do it. Maybe they have college from like 7am to 7pm and they don't want to work out when they get home. You know, maybe they want to get up at six and they only have an hour to be ready. Find a 30 minute workout for them that they can do so that they have 30 minutes to get ready. You want to you want to make sure that you're fulfill, fulfilling their needs and their priorities, okay? So ask them how much time they have to spend. That way you can get a little insight on it. Kind of talking fast. I need a drink. <laughs> okay. Now, after you get to know them and their goals. You want to use form. I talk about this on the training website. If you haven't uh, looked at the training website, which you should already look at it because this is where you're going to find this video, um, then how do I, let's see. Okay. Um, then you, I don't know, whatever. So you want to use form. Okay. That means family, occupation, recreation, and message. So you want to ask them about their family, you know, are they married? Are they single? Maybe don't even ask them that. Um, ask them if they have kids, you know, do they have dogs, blah, blah, blah. Just get to know them. Like act like they're a friend and you're just getting to know a new friend. Ask them what they do for work. Maybe they sit all day and they, you know, they want to work out. Um, maybe they do work at a gym. Maybe they're a teacher. Maybe, you know, whatever. Ask them what kind of hobbies they enjoy doing. And then message them that, you know, you'll, you'll add them to your free group, your support group, because you want to support them or give them that support. Um, after you figure out what best fits their needs, you know, say they want to get abs, build a butt, and build their arms. Tell them, you know, for, for those three things, that would be 80-day obsession. So tell them that 80 day obsession is going to be the program they want to do. I don't know how to pause this because I need to pee really bad. So let's see here. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to stop share and I can't pause. Oh, I can't pause. Okay. I'm back. So 
screen share. Share my screen. Okay. So we're on bullet point number three. Now, after you find the program that fits their needs, so we were on 80 Day Obsession, you can use um, what I've been using is coachingcodes.com. It's freaking awesome because you can like type in your coach ID number, which you can find in the coach office, which you should know already. Um, and you can actually create your account and type in your coach ID and your screen name from beachbody.com. And then you can actually find the product video link. So you can send the customer or whatever the 80 day obsession video. That way they know like what the program's about rather than just sending them a link saying, okay, here's this purchase it. And then I'll add you to our groups. Um, send, send them, I'll show you right now the coaching codes, but send them that code for the program that y'all picked. Um, so they can watch the video and check the program out. So let me show you um, coaching codes. I don't even know. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see this. Coaching codes. Can you guys even see this? I don't even know. Um, let's just hope you can see. There we go. Okay, so here's coaching codes. All you have to do is make an account. You have to pick a username. I, I picked um, like Fit Peanut or whatever put in your screen name, mine is Bailey Glanzer, so your Beachbody name that you registered your account with, and then put in your coach ID number and your Beachbody email. Now, it will bring you to this screen that says get all your necessary links or whatever. Um, here's some videos on how to use it down here, and then right here you can click to get all your Beachbody links. So you're gonna click that after you do it, and let's see. Well, I have never even used this before, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is this it? I suck at this. Okay. Continue. Download. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. So. You'll, um, I'll also tell you about another thing you can use, but you can send them your coaching code link for the video, blah, 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 show them the video. That way they know what they're getting into. So let's see real quick. I don't know why this isn't working. Okay. Oh, okay. Click links and then let's see for the clients and coaches of. This is weird. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> okay, here we go. At the bottom, so say, let's see, video links, okay? Here is, wait, that's not it. Okay, video links. Those are coaching videos. What? I'm so confused. I need to look more into this, but let's just say you are going to pick challenge pack links. Okay. So you want to send them the, I don't even know. Those are June promotions. All challenge packs. Let's see what this brings up. Okay. Whatever. So you guys can go through coaching codes, see what, what's up with it. If, if it doesn't work for you, just use the app called coach codes, that one or BB links. So those are, those are my other good ones. I'll put them right here. BB links and coach codes on app store. Okay. So those are the other ones you can use. Um, before talking about Shakeology, discuss their current bad habits and struggles so you can let them know that nutrition is a big priority. Ask them if they eat a lot of fast food. Ask, ask them if they drink a lot of pop, what they want to change, all that good stuff. You know, what do they lack throughout the day? Do they lack eating veggies? Because Shakeology is filled with like seven salads. So just ask them about their current bad habits and struggles. Um, when bringing Shakeology up, ask if they've heard about it. Just be like, hey, have you ever heard of something called Shakeology? You know, it's a, it's a superfood meal replacement shake. Um, it's full of nutrients, blah, 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 blah. 
No, they're not familiar. Okay, no problem. So one thing I can do is incorporate this into my, or, okay. So it's what you would message them. So no problem. One thing I do is incorporate this into my daily regimen to help give me the nutrients our bodies are lacking, which is why we have cravings, bloating, low energy levels, and digestion issues. Would you mind if I sent you a link to quickly show you how amazing adding it into your daily routine, routine to replace one meal would be? This has definitely helped me and my challengers so much with their nutrition, which is 80% of your results. So you can find a video about Shakeology from YouTube, whatever, um, on the coach office. There's training videos on Shakeology. You can share it. So if they say yes, send them the link and tell them that once they take a look to let you know their thoughts and you'll go from there. Because maybe they aren't going to want it. Maybe they just won't work out. So you need to like follow up with them. If they say no, that they don't want the link, give them one to two days and then follow back up and say, hey girl, how are you? I just wanted to co coach up. I just wanted to <laughs> follow up with you and hear your thoughts about the Shakeology link I sent. I would love to help you get going on your journey and I know you had some big goals. So let me know what you think and we will get you set up. You know, Rem remind them how important their goals were that they shared with you. That way they will be like, okay, maybe I do need it. So if they say, if you, if you check back in with them, you know, and they let, they share their thoughts and say, I don't think I can afford it. Don't be like, okay, girl, well, I'll just follow your journey and I'll, you know, maybe check up with you in a couple months to see if you can afford it. No, don't stop there. <laughs> I'm going to bang my head. Don't stop there, okay? Say, okay, let me ask you a question. Do you know how much you're currently spending on your lunches now? At work, at the fast food restaurants you go to, or your average healthy lunch from the store? Break down the price, okay? Don't just, don't show the price before the value of Shakeology. And don't be salesy, just be like, hey, how much do you normally spend on your daily lunch. You know, give them your own experience. Like, why did you think Shakeology would benefit you? Why are you willing to pay $100 for a fucking shake, okay? Share your experience. Like, me, I would be like, so I know looking at it from a whole, it looks super expensive, but it does come out to be like, I don't know, $3 a meal, whatever. I used to feel the same way until I broke it down and realized that I was spending way more money on my average meal and eating out. You know, after the gym, I might have just stopped at Wendy's and got a salad for like eight freaking dollars. So tell them I would eat a grilled chicken salad with veggies for lunch and realize that purchasing the ingredients at the store costed me over four dollars, but without all the extra nutrition, multivitamins, you know, all the nutrients that the shake would be providing. Plus, the salad probably didn't ever fill me up either. One thing we do in our groups is help people with budgeting. So you are saving money each month on groceries. Since I am a college student, I know how it feels. You know, put that, put something out there for them to relate to. Maybe they are a college student and maybe they are really broke and they're not lying to you. Um, so tell them, like, you're a college student too. Tell them how you afford it. You know, tell them how it feels to not want to spend that much money monthly and let them know you care, but also let them know how much Shakeology could be a priority to them. And an easy thing for them to do. I'm talking a lot. <sighs> you know, if it comes down to it, you might have to throw in the discount coach option, which is okay, because eventually you want to sign all your challengers up as discount coaches or convert them to a coach because it's going to help you advance in your business. So let them know that if they have family that want to join them, you know, that could pay for their monthly shakes. So just throw that option out there and we'll talk more about it right now or in a minute. So, you know, if they keep ignoring and they don't even like reply about the Shakeology, no does not mean no forever. You know, it, does, it just means that they are currently not ready mentally or financially. Like, they don't want to throw out that $100 a month. 
do not ever cross them off your list. If they're interested, highlight them. If they're not, leave them on the freaking list. You know, if you're using a sauna, like I said, your tracker, if you're using a notebook, leave them in there and follow up with them in a couple months. They might even come back to you. Don't be like, oh, well, she's not worthy because she doesn't want to pay for shakes. Because that's just stupid. <laughs> they will watch you to see if you're going to be here for the long run and see if you're just a fluke or you really are staying on your journey and you're coaching other people. Show them you're going to be here long term. And how do you do that? You post three to five times daily on Facebook or Instagram. You know, not three to five times on both. I'll post throughout my whole day on Instagram stories and I'll post once on Instagram a day. And then on Facebook, I'll post on Facebook and maybe twice on Facebook. Um, show transformations from your team all the time. Just put anything out there that will show them that you're still alive. Like you're still a coach. You're still there to help them. You know, show successes about yourself as a coach, what it has done for you, paid for your shakes, grocery bills, school loans, baby supplies, paid off your mortgage, you know, paid off your college or put your family on a vacation, you know, put, put that coaching opportunity out there. That way they're like, okay, well maybe I could afford shakes and maybe it will just work out. So put that out there. Just post on social media. <laughs> um, so once they're ready to sign up, aside from that Shakeology thing, once they're ready to sign up, I usually just say, okay, great. I'm excited to help you get started on your journey. You know, ask them if they have a Beachbody account because if they do, they'll probably log in and try to sign up but they're not going to be under you. So ask them if they do. And if they do, they need to send an email to coach relations, which is right here and tell them they want to switch to you. So be like, send an email to this email address and say, Hey, I want to switch my coach to Bailey Glanzer. One, five, two, three, four, five, zero is her coach ID. And they're usually really good about it. It takes them like 24 hours. Um, you know, and put that offer out there that there is a discount coach. You save, $15 a month on Shakeology and a 25% discount on everything else or the performance line or whatever. You know, the performance line is like a hundred bucks and being a discount coach makes it like 88. So you're getting a really good deal. Um, once they're ready to sign up, just be like, okay, I'm going to go ahead. So make it a goal to, to sign up all your challengers as a discount coach. You know, maybe some will just reject the idea because they don't want to order every month, but just throw it out there and most of them will just do it, which is, I had problems doing that, which I need to start doing it more, but be like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get you signed up with the discount. So you were saving $15 a month on your shakes plus 25% on everything else. You can cancel any time without any fees or per penalties. Are you good with that? And if they say yes, cool. Give them the steps on how to become a coach or just send them your link for become a coach from coach codes. Um, you can just be like, you know, may go to teambeachbody.com, make an account, say, yes, I have a coach, Bailey Glanzer, and then go to the coach tab, put in their account info, referring, or no, I'm sorry. You just want to send them to teambeachbody.com and then have them go to the coach tab, you know, click through, do all their account stuff, um, and then put in your coach ID number and do all that stuff. Pick a challenge pack. And then let them know that, you know, if they ever start helping others, you have to put in your social security number just for tax purposes. Um, and then last slide, sorry guys. After they're signed up, add, to, add them to the challenge group. So if you're adding them to my challenge group, it's you are worthy. Just add them in there. I'll make you an admin. Um, add to our coaching groups. So it's like team gold digger coaches, Fit crew coaches and team boom and prior coaches or whatever. You can add them to any of those. Um, send them the coach welcome email just to find out what kind of coach they want to be. Because if you're signing them up as a discount coach, it may be a possibility that they'll be like, okay, maybe I will make some money because I have some people that will do it. You know, maybe they'll just be a hobby coach or maybe they'll turn into a full-time coach. So this could actually help get your discount coaches to working coaches and make you some money. Um, answer their questions, any questions they have, and give them our training site, which is golddiggertraining.weebly.com, I think, which that's, you know, whatever, you all, are, all know that. Um, and if they just want to be a discount coach, don't really send them the training site because that's just going to overwhelm them. So, all right, I'm going to exit out of this.
whoops i'm gonna stop sharing and i'm going to end the video here because my mouth is really dry and That was really it. Like it's super simple and announcing that you're a coach, even though that whole slide was like way more than announcing you're a coach. Um, you know, put it out there. People want to know that you're that you're there to help them. You know, they're not just gonna message you and be like, hey, can you help me with health and fitness? Because they don't know. You know, that's the biggest thing for people is they can't take that step to ask for help. So put it out there that you want to help. Um, so yeah, that was about it. And uh, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so watch this video. Give me your top takeaways. Be confident. Be a hard worker. Bye. <laughs>